In this video, we're going to take a look at my clamping system on the mostly printed CNC or the MP CNC. A look at how I iterated to the clamps that I currently use from a design that I found on the internet. First, if you like these videos and want to see more of them, please like and subscribe and do me a big favor. You can also make a comment below, especially if there are specific things that you would like me to cover in the future. I'm open to suggestions. The clamps I'm using are designed from an idea by Marius Hornberger. He's another YouTuber that created a set of wooden clamps that I like the look of. I've linked to his video below. He provided the dimensions for the original clamps in his video. I initially created a model of the design in Fusion 360, then I made the clamps from wood on the MPCNC. These are okay, but I found that I was using a lot more um, spaces than I would have liked, and sometimes under vibration, the wooden clamps would release. I closely examined the design and decided to modify it to better suit my needs. I realized I could 3D print these clamps with some advantages to that. I created the models. Uh, and printed my first set and they were too similar to the wooden version and didn't really give me the solution I wanted. I enlarged the parts, being careful not to change the dimension of the hole for the conduit. I wanted a tight fit into the cam and a loose fit into the holes in the spoil board. I put the links below for those parts. These clamps work very well. I've still used spaces under certain circumstances, but for the most part, these have served me very well. The holes that I cut into the spoil board are a one inch diameter, maybe a tiny bit smaller. I iterated to the exact size using the CNC and a piece of conduit to test the hole. They're spaced at three inches on a grid and I can position the clamps to hold almost any size of workpiece. I always clamp the part then tap it with a rubber mallet just to make sure that it's sitting flat on the spoil board. I've cut some fairly aggressive depths and I've never had a problem with the workpiece moving or the clamps coming loose. I use a datum edge to clamp against. It's held in place with five small conduit pieces. I've set up the MPCNC so that I know exactly how far to move the tool to get from the system origin, that's the place where the end stops reach X0, Y0, to the inner corner of the datum. I've customized Octoprint using the uh, built-in customization to add some buttons that allow me to set up the workpiece and to move the uh, router to the spot I want very easily. It's quite simple to do. I'd be quite happy to do another video on how to do that. I've set up buttons in the terminal tab of Octoprint to get me to the workpiece origin and set X0, Y0 there. I also have a button that moves me X25, Y25 so I can set the height using the touch plate. With this setup, I have a very repeatable and easily managed clamping system that works for most of my needs. I don't use any glue, screws, or double-sided sticky tape to hold down the work. If you've enjoyed this video and wanna see more, please like and subscribe. I'll be happy to make new videos.